Oh, this is life. It is indeed, Tadley. A little swift 300 miles and a lovely dog. Prost. Prost. Now, you usually start these videos at the beginning, but not this one. Um, mainly because the beginning really was a little bit boring. Nobody wants to watch me schlepping down the M20 from Essex into Folkestone. Nobody wants to watch Charlie coming all the way from Tenby. Everybody's seen everybody go through the tunnel on bikes. And then basically we smash the motorway to get to this beautiful part of the world. And we are in a village called Heimbach in the Eiffel region. A little place called Eiffel Blumschen. Really nice little place if you're out on a bike in this region to stay. Uh, but we thought really the trip starts from tomorrow morning where we've got a little bit more scenery, we've got some nice roads, and that takes us to the show at SW Motec. So I thought we'd just start the video off with this and uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Cheers, Charlie. Cheers. I need a clapperboard. So here we go. Let's have a, give you another quick look. Eiffel Blumchum, little guest house. Jenny, who runs it, is lovely. We had a nice room. There's my balcony up there. Uh, it's a brilliant place. You've got a comfortable bed, a shower, sink, everything you need. I think we paid £77 for the two of us for a room each, uh, which is a bit of a bargain. Ten euros for breakfast, which was very nice. And uh, there's an honesty bar. So you can take beers and crisps and stuff and just write down what you've got. Charlie, you all packed up? Charlie's all packed up. So today we are heading to Rauschenberg. Initially in the Eiffel region we'll have some nice roads. Then there'll be a little bit of motorway. Yeah, we'll go that way. Hold there, Charlie. I think I am going the wrong way. Yes, I am definitely going the wrong way. This way. So once we got checked in and collected our wristbands and all of that stuff, it was time to head over to the campsite to get ourselves set up. We found a good site next to the path and directly next to the hot shower block, which would be very handy in the morning. Now, if you're a regular viewer or you've seen my uh, camping setup video, you will notice this is a different tent. I didn't take my Lone Rider ADV tent. Nothing wrong with the tent per se, but I just find it is a little bit low. There's not a lot of headroom in it and I wanted something 
that I could sit upright in quite easily or even kneel in to get changed and this tent did the job. It's a Van Gogh Alpha 300 CLR three-man tent which retails £450. It's not the most technical of tents. It does the job for this kind of casual camping. If you're going to be using it in extreme conditions, it's probably not the one to go for. But the beauty of this is that I bought it from Van Gogh's essentially outlet store which is camping recycled and i paid the princely sum of 63 pounds and the tent is fantastic i would say it does the job just as well as the lone rider tent the pack size isn't much different you can see the dimensions here it is a little bit heavier and the pack size is a little bit bigger but the trade-off is i've got much more room in it it's got a little separate vestibule it's just a fantastic tent once the tents were set up and ready to go, it was time to walk back down to the main factory to see what was going on. Wir haben unsere Familien, unsere Mitarbeiter eingeladen, komplett mit den Familien, Kunden, Lieferanten, Geschäftspartner, das ist uns wichtig. Wir pflegen bei uns in der Firma eine Geschäftsbeziehung und wir wollen das auch bis in das Private. Let me see some hands. Open his eyes to you. Saturday morning arrived and it was an absolutely beautiful day. Blue skies, nice and clear. So we got ourselves sorted out, packed up what we needed to do into our tents and then headed into the show to grab some breakfast and see what was going on. I'm good, how are you? Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sun is shining. Why don't you wear a cap? Uh, you are from England? Yeah, yeah. I don't have a cap. <laughs> oh. Okay, so you can get mine with Anthony. Okay, there we go. <laughs> You survived, Charlie. It was a bit of an inauspicious start, but once you get in the beginning, once you get going, it's brilliant. So, it is Saturday lunchtime-ish, I think. The show is in full swing. It is mobbed. Uh, they're already struggling for uh, parking, I think. The campsite, as you can see behind me, that's just all the bike parking there. Behind me, we've got motorhomes and all that business. And, uh, but the sun is out. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. There's lots to look at. There's lots to see. And what are you most looking forward to uh, having a look at, Charlie? Uh, I want to get some bits and pieces from the lovely SW Motec for the bike and run a, a rack for the back of the Transal and some various other little additions. Uh, there's all sorts of manufacturers here which we've been looking at, all the lovely bikes. It's just a generally lovely day. It's it? a not, as I said to people in my previous video, it's such a different vibe to shows in the UK. Yeah. I think much more chilled, much more laid back. Yeah, just everybody's yeah. really friendly. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Germans, as usual, speak fantastic English. Yeah, you know. So we do our best, don't we, T? We have yeah. a go. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. Yeah. Kein <laughs> Kalsan Papagei. Sick as a parrot. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
and here we see the lesser known Charles Fixicus in its natural Master habitat. Mechanic. <laughs> it expertly takes three hours to put four bolts in. It's only three. But it's done with precision and it's love. Precision and calm. I try <laughs> not to drop any of these screws into the grass. I don't blame you. What have you bought, Charlie? I have bought a little back, uh, little back, a sort of tank bag thing for the rear for chains and London accoutrement. The SW Motec Open House is a fantastic event. It's nice and friendly and there's plenty going on too. You can spend money on new kit. You can have a look around the factory and find out what goes into making their products. You've got the opportunity to test ride new bikes from pretty much every manufacturer you can think of, or you can just chill out and watch the world go by with a beer and a bratwurst. But this trip was about more than just the open house weekend. So we tried to get some sleep, which was pretty tricky on the Saturday night, given the music frivolities and campsite burnouts. But in the morning, we were ready to pack up and leave after breakfast. So tune into episode two to see where we headed next. <laughs>